Nigeria is a country that is blessed with abundant human and natural resources, including crude oil and good climate. It is the home of many prominent and internationally recognized personalities like Bayo O. Ogunlesi, Prince Arthur Eze, and the richest black man on earth, Al Haji Ali Kodongwati. However, despite the above stated facts, Nigeria has over the years continued to suffer setbacks, which include insurgency, corruption, unemployment, and migration, among others. The men in this country keep hustling. When you know you don't have anything doing there, what are you doing there? You don't have anybody there, why must you be there? You don't have any business there, why must you be there? Why not stay in your country and protect your respect and integrity as a Nigerian? Although migration is a global phenomenon, its consequences seem to be more intense in developing countries, Nigeria inclusive. So my parents will be sued, so my cut up somewhere and return back possibly to Nigeria, which is too bad for our image. I think there are many ways of gaining employment which they don't want to follow. For instance, you can be self-employed, you can go to the family and you make your living successfully. Traveling abroad to seek for greener pasture, I don't think is the best thing for our youth. I still believe that staying in this country, you can make it. It all takes your hard work and your commitment to whatever you are doing. If you are a youth, don't find yourself engaged in one thing doing, no matter how small it is. Committed to it. I believe that one day you will succeed in it. Traveling somewhere else that you don't know, I don't think it can help in this kind of situation. Last time I learned that some people were deported from Libya. They travel out. Some people even engage themselves in drugs, prostitution. This is not helping us as a Nigerian. Remember, wherever you are, you carry the symbol of your country. You carry the symbol of Nigeria. The reason of traveling out out of no job, nothing, you can be your own boss and my own CEO, uh, my own boss. I have a company called Great Empire Fashion Institute. So I see no reason. I have more than enough here to stay here. I don't even think of traveling. I have friends in all over the country. So if you I'm comfortable here. Any measures put in place by the Nigerian government to curb some of these issues? We decided to design programs. For instance, we have vocational skill development programs. These you have to learn a skill, like the secondary schools, even graduates, learn a skill like uh, tailoring, organizing, computer repairs, uh, ICT, uh, automobile, and this. So at the end of your learning, government is giving you a starter pack for you to be on your own. While learning, government is even augmenting your transportation allowance so that you learn this job uh, well and you will remain in this country and practice. Knowing fully well that it is not possible for government to give job to virtually everybody, even in abroad. That is what it is. It is the small scale businesses that run the economy of the country for packaging this kind of uh, skill acquisition. Even most people that have gone to school have their certificates. They are not much paid as those that even stayed at home and learned some skills. I used to see somebody close to my house. He learned a uh, cupboard, how to construct cupboard with uh, wool. Each time the customers come to pay him, they pay him. 70,000, 80,000, 150,000 for just one cupboard. You can imagine how many customers will come in a month. It's earning over 500,000 in a month. Even the government cannot pay you 500,000 in a month. It's needed to be acquired. And from then, you can now say yes, you can make it from here and even the purpose of traveling from uh, through the Mediterranean Sea, you will not have to do that. You can now get your money, travel to the right path, and come back to rest in your country.
What is the hope for Nigerians living abroad without any means of livelihood? Yes, voluntarily they should just give up and start coming back. Because from the stories, we see how they suffer. How will you be suffering in another man's land? Well, there is honey here. If you can uh, try your best to make sure you get this honey on your table. We have a lot of opportunities here in this country. Let them come back and fix in. Learn a skill, we we'll support them, and we we'll even mentor them. With all the horrifying stories about migrants and of course the rejection they face when deported into the country, I think it is that time for the government and stakeholders to come together and kill that monster that has continued to drive away Nigerians away from their country. Or what do you say?